Hi there guys and welcome to this week's video. Now normally when we create a VM, we just use a VDisk, fire it up and have done with it and forget it. But you know there are advanced disk techniques that we can use with our VMs for those times when we're really trying to squeeze the most performance out of our system as possible. So let's jump in and have a look what we can do. video we're going to look at an alternative to VDiscs and we're going to look at using physical hard drives in VMs on Unraid. And in this video we're going to learn about hard drive pass through and I'll show you two ways to pass through both whole hard drives and partitions of hard drives to your VMs. We will set up a Windows VM from scratch but install it onto a physical hard drive and also we'll look at passing through a physical hard drive to a VM to be used as a second hard drive you'll see how to convert a V-disk into a physical disk and also you'll see how to convert a physical disk into a V-disk if you want to convert your own physical machine to a VM. And then towards the end of the video we'll do some performance tests on various virtual hard drives and pass through physical hard drives and compare the results. So you may be thinking, well what's the difference between a virtual disk and a real disk? Aren't they both on the hard drive anyway? Well yes that's true, so you still need a real physical disk to have a V-disk. But a virtual disk is a file, or a set of files, that appears as a physical disk drive to the guest operating system. And this file exists on the hard drive of the host machine, which for us is our Unraid server. And when we make a VM with a V-disk, we install the operating system onto the V-disk without actually having to repartition the physical disk of the host or even reboot the host. So this is one of the reasons why VMs are so cool. So why would we want to pass through a physical disk then? OK, so with a V-disk there is a slight amount of overhead. Even though it's very small, it can affect disk performance. So if we're really trying to get everything we can out of a VM, for gaming etc, then it might be worth considering using a fast physical disk passed straight through to the VM. People argue the amount of real world gain you get in the VM is pretty small. And as such, they don't like giving up the advantages that you do get with V-Discs. So to help you decide if you want to do it on one of your VMs, I'm going to do it on mine and then you can decide if you think it's something you'd like to do. So let's get started. Right, you can see here that I've got two unassigned devices attached to my Unraid server. These two disks are not in my array and they're not used as a cache drive. And they're listed under the unassigned devices tab here. Now at the moment it's very hard to see any real information about these disks at all. So let's click onto apps and we're going to install the unassigned devices plugin. So just do a search for the word unassigned, then install the plugin and then after which come back to the main tab. Now here you'll see a lot more options than there was before. You can auto mount the drives on start, you can share the drives as unraid shares and also you can see the partitions of the drive. And this 2 terabyte drive is already partitioned into three partitions because I use this with my VMs already. The first partition here, this is formatted in XFS and I use this to store V-Discs for VMs that I don't use very often that I don't want to be on the cache drive. Now this second partition is a large partition of just over a terabyte which is formatted in NTFS and this is where I store all my game installs for my Windows VM. Now I keep the C drive as a V-Disc, it's on my SSD cache so it's fast to boot up but small enough in size to easily back up. Should something go wrong with Windows I only have to replace the V-Disc and not replace the larger pass-through disc containing the games. And this third partition is going to be used in the future for me for passing through to OSX VMs to store data on that. The other unassigned device is a 500 gig hard drive formatted in XFS which I just put into the server before making this video. Now before we can make any changes to unassigned devices in Unraid we need to go up to settings and then go to unassigned devices and once here we need to enable destructive mode in order to format and change partitions. And so with destructive mode enabled I can now delete the partition on this drive. OK, now there's two ways we can pass through a disk in Unraid. We can use the identification, the SD and then the letter of the device. 
and these two devices the first one is SDB and the second one here is SDC so let's quickly open a text editor and then type forward slash DEV forward slash SD and then the letter of the drive that we want to use and I'm going to use the first one so we're going to type SDB so we could leave it like this and pass through the whole disk but I want to actually pass through a partition on this disk I want to pass through the second partition because as you saw earlier this is the partition where I store my games for my Windows gaming VM so all we need to do is to put the partition number at the end making this SDB2 so now we'll just copy this text so we can paste it into our VM template so now I'm going to click onto my VM tab and go to my Windows VM and click edit and now I'm going to click on the green plus to add a second VDisk location and I'm going to set that to manual and then in here I'm going to paste the location that we just copied from the text file and that's it it's done so now we can just click on to update and let's start the VM so let's start up the VM and go straight through to Windows Disk Manager and have a look at the disks and you can see here my games partition is now recognized by Windows as disk 1 and is passed through as a separate disk now there's one problem with this method these SD IDs can actually change when you reboot your server look at the bottom one here the SDC it belongs to the 500 gig drive so now let's restart the server and see if it's the same well actually now the 2 terabyte device has taken that name that one's now the SDC and the 500 gig drive is now SDK and because these devices ID have changed now when we try and start up the VM we're getting this error saying it can't find the device so obviously we need a more reliable way and a way that isn't going to change if we reboot the server so if we look here we can see that the disks actually have another identification as well each drive also has its own unique identification as you can see here so let's copy that so now type ATA hyphen and then paste the disk identification number now underneath type forward slash dev forward slash disk forward slash by hyphen ID forward slash and then cut and paste in the line above now just as the first method this would be enough to pass through the whole physical disk but if we want to pass through just one partition we need to add another part and this time we add hyphen part and then the number of the partition and in this case it's number two okay so let's copy this and then paste it into the VM template okay so we'll paste this new location over the old location and then click update and once booted back into Windows we can see there's our pass through game partition again okay so that's how you pass through a disk to a VM but what if you want to install the operating system directly onto the hard drive well that's just the same really let's use the 500 gig disk to do that again let's copy its identification and so again let's make our disk by ID location and let's just copy the whole line okay and so now we're ready to make our VM so let's scroll down and choose our Windows 10 template I've had a few people ask me recently how come I've got so many extra options on my VM manager well all it is is it's toggling on the advanced view on the top right hand corner right so let's give the VM some CPUs and some RAM and choose our Windows 10 ISO install image and now for our primary VDisk location we want to go down and we want to click on to manual and then paste in the location that we just copied earlier and you'll notice with this that we don't have any partition on the end we're passing through the whole physical disk okay and so now we just start up the VM and go through the install okay and once you get to this stage choose on custom and then load your vert IO drivers enable to be able to recognize the disk now click on to next and now you can see the pass through 
physical hard drive here so just click onto it and then click next and now just go through the Windows installer as you would with a normal installation I'm going to speed this right up okay so that's Windows successfully installed onto the physical hard drive okay with the Windows installation now out of the way let's do some disk conversions Let's try converting a V-Disc into a physical disc. So I'm going to convert the V-Disc I have for my Windows 10 that I normally use and I'm going to convert it onto the 500 gig hard drive. Okay, so first let's erase all the partitions off the 500 gig disc. And now we need to make an SSH connection to the Unraid server. Now let's go across to our VM manager. And this is the VM that I'm going to convert the V-Disc into a real physical disc with. This is my Windows 10 Gaming VM. So let's have a look at the XML. And here is the location of my primary V-Disc. So I want to copy all of this, including the quotations. Now go across to the terminal window and type the following. DD space if equals and then paste the location of the V disk, then space of equals forward slash DEV forward slash SD, and then we put the SD number of the 500 gig disk, which for this is SDC, and then press enter. Now this does take rather a long time, so we'll just skip through to the next bit. So now here you can see the process is finished, so let's just terminate the SSH window. And if we take a quick look at the 500 gig disk, we can see it's got multiple partitions here. So now we need to make the primary VDisk location the location of the physical hard drive and then start up the VM. Now let's go to Windows Disk Management. And now extend the size of the C drive so it takes up all of the space of the 500 gigs. OK, so now let's convert a physical disk into a V-disk. And this can be very useful if you want to convert an existing computer that you already have and run it as a VM. Basically, you just connect the hard drive to your server and then follow these steps. So I'm going to convert this here. It's a flash drive and it's only 250 megs. I've chosen this just so it's very quick to copy. But the principle is exactly the same whether you used a hard drive or a flash drive. So the first thing we need to do is to have a place to copy this to. So I'm going to open my VM share, which for me is called Virtual Systems. Probably on your server it might be called Domains. And I'm going to create a folder here, and I'm going to call the folder test. Okay, and now we need to make an SSH connection to the server. And now we need to run the following command. qmu-img space convert space hyphen p space hyphen then capital O space raw space forward slash dev forward slash and then the ID of the drive you're copying so for me it's SDJ and then space and then in quotations if you've got any spaces in your actual location then forward slash MNT forward slash user forward slash and then mine here virtual space systems and then forward slash the directory I just made called test and then forward slash and I want to call this image vdisk1.img and press enter and you'll see a progress go up because of this switch here the hyphen p and it's done so we can close this window now and let's have a look in our share and there's our flash drive converted into a vdisk and if you wanted to use that in a VM you'd create a VM template and then you'd use the primary VDIS location to be that of what you've just saved now. Okay, so to finish this video, let's run some tests and test the VM disks. I'm going to test three things. Firstly, I'm going to test the VDisk on the SSD cache. Now that's my boot drive, my C drive on my VM. And secondly, I'm going to test the 500 gig drive 
pass through to the VM as is. And thirdly, I'm going to test a 500 gig VDisk on the same drive as what was passed through in the previous test, but after it's been formatted and used as an unassigned disk, not passed through to the VM. Now testing VM disk speed is very hit and miss. Unfortunately, you can't just run a normal test and get realistic figures. If you do, you'll get some very unrealistic figures a bit like this. Now the reason this happens is because the host uses cache for its disk functions, so it's really hard to see the real hardware speed. So what I've done to try and eliminate this is I've set all the VDisk cache to be none in the XML. So here's the results of my testing. So the results are in. Of course the V-Disc on the SSD was the fastest, but the other two were very, very close. Now the pass-through disc just gets a tiny bit better performance, but if I was to run the tests a few times, it may not be that way. To be honest, I expected the pass-through disc to outperform the V-Disc on the unassigned drive by a noticeable amount. Well that brings us to the end of the video, so guys it's time for me to go. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you did then please give it a like. And if you want to see more videos from me then please get subscribed to the channel. Whatever you guys are up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you all in that next video.